Welcome to our channel. Today, we're diving into the world of photography and videography to explore the best cameras of 2024. Whether you're a professional photographer, a content creator, or just someone who loves capturing moments, these cameras are sure to elevate your craft to the next level. Number 5 Fujifilm X-T5 In 2024, the Fujifilm X-T5 represents the pinnacle of image technology with a remarkable blend of cutting-edge capabilities and classic design aspects. Fujifilm, known for its skill in the mirrorless camera market, has upped the bar yet again with the X-T5 claims a sophisticated sensor, likely an updated version of its predecessor, offering exceptional image quality. It excels at capturing the nuances of each scene with two improved low-light performance and flawless color reproduction. The X-T5's advanced CPU offers lightning-fast autofocus, speedy continuous shooting, and smooth overall performance. Photographers may now capture key moments with unprecedented speed and accuracy. The camera has a sophisticated and rapid autofocus mechanism with cutting-edge technology for precise subject tracking and fast focus acquisition. The X-T5 produces excellent results whether capturing quick action or still subjects. Number 4 Sony S7IV The Sony 7IV is the best photography camera we've tested. It's a well-rounded hybrid model that falls just short of pro status. It improves on a widely popular Sony 7i with a new 33MP sensor that captures highly detailed photographs and allows you to crop and edit freely. Sony's real-time focusing system is likewise impressive, with extremely reliable subject identification and tracking to keep moving subjects in focus. That being said, it is far from a perfect camera. It does have in-body image stabilization, IBIS, although we've seen better stabilization implementations. When shooting uncompressed RAW files, the camera's maximum burst rate reduces to six taps, which is somewhat disappointing for high-level sports or wildlife photography. In that regard, the equivalent Canon EOS R6 Mark I has it beat, with 12 eps burst shooting, or up to 40 eps in electronic shutter mode. However, the 7IV has an advantage due to the large array of glass available for Stony's E-mount, including plenty of third-party lenses at varying price points. The Sony 7IV is ideal for landscape photography. Its full-frame 33-megapixel sensor captures a remarkable amount of detail and produces clear, appealing photographs right out of the camera. It also allows you to crop your images or generate prints with more freedom. It features a very wide dynamic range in RAW format, allowing it to capture more highlight and shadow detail in busier or higher contrast landscape images. Furthermore, while its high ISO noise performance is slightly inferior than that of some comparable cameras, it nevertheless works admirably in low-light circumstances where the ISO must be increased. Unfortunately, it is not the most portable camera for lengthy walks or distant area shooting. The Sony S7IV is an excellent sports and wildlife camera. It's tough and weather-resistant, and it has two SD card ports, as well as an integrated CF Express type of slot for backups during longer shoots. When shooting JPEG, it also boasts a good burst rate of 10 frames per second. If you shoot in uncompressed RAW, it can only shoot at 6 frames per second, which is frustrating if you want to make the most of the camera's sensor for fast-moving subjects. The Sony 7IV is an excellent choice for studio video. Unlike its predecessor, it can internally record 10-bit 4-2-2 video, capturing more color information and giving you more to work with in post. It also supports a wide range of log profiles, allowing you to fully utilize the sensor's dynamic range. There are a variety of inputs and outputs available, including a headphone jack, microphone input, and a full-sized HDMI port. The autofocus performance and video quality are excellent, and Sony has substantially improved the menu's ease of use compared to the previous model, allowing you to discover and alter settings more rapidly. When filming video, there is no time limit, and the battery does not overheat even when shooting at the maximum quality settings. While the camera's video battery life could be improved, it does permit use while charging via USB, which is useful for lengthy shooting days. The Sony 7IV is an excellent travel camera. Despite not being the most portable camera, its high-resolution full-frame sensor produces astonishingly clear, high-quality photographs even in low light. 
In addition, the camera boasts an excellent autofocus system that can keep up with targets in a variety of conditions. Number 3 Sony A6700 The Sony 6700 is the greatest mid-range camera for photographers that we've tested. This hybrid model has a 26MP crop sensor and produces excellent image quality. It's also relatively portable, having a tiny form that's easy to transport and an outstanding battery life. Furthermore, it offers one of the best and most dependable autofocus systems on the market, with sophisticated subject identification and tracking, not to mention in-body image stabilization and a large variety of native and third-party lenses. Consider the Fujifilm XS20 alternative if you don't want to mess with RAW files as much. Fujifilm is well known for its superior JPEG color science and film emulation profiles, making it a perfect alternative for individuals who love to capture snapshots right from the camera. It too includes IBS to let you shoot handheld at slower shutter speeds, and it boasts excellent ergonomics. However, its autofocus isn't as good as Sony's AA-driven AF, making it less suitable for fast-moving scenes like sports or wildlife. The Sony A6700 is an excellent choice for trip photography. It's reasonably small and portable, with outstanding ergonomics and a long battery life. It's also a really well-made camera, having a weather-sealed body to keep out factors like rain and dust. The image quality from its APS-C sensor is superb, and the camera boasts an excellent image stabilization technology that allows you to shoot handheld at slower shutter speeds. It also features an excellent autofocus system that tracks moving targets quite effectively, even in busy environments. However, its viewfinder isn't the most user-friendly. The Sony A6700 is an excellent landscape camera. Its APS-C sensor captures great overall image quality, and there are a plethora of native and third-party lens options for Sony's E-mount. The camera is extremely lightweight, so it won't tire you out after long days on the road, and it has a long battery life. It's also well-made and weather-sealed, with a convenient SD card slot for those who prefer to shoot with a tripod. The Sony A6700 is ideal for wildlife and sports photography. Despite not having the fastest shooting speed on the market, it can nevertheless shoot at a high maximum burst rate. It also includes an excellent autofocus system, as well as a very dependable AI-driven subject tracking capability that allows you to track certain subjects, such as birds or animals, and recognize different areas of the body. It also captures high-quality images. However, its viewfinder isn't particularly comfortable to use. The Sony A6700 is excellent for vlogging. It boasts a completely articulated screen that allows you to keep track of yourself while vlogging. Number 2 Fujifilm X-S10 The Fujifilm X-S10 is a crop sensor mirrorless camera. It produces excellent image quality and shoots reasonably sharp, detailed video in both 4K and FHD resolutions, however you may notice some noise while recording in low light conditions. Its in-body image stabilization feature also helps to smooth down camera shake in both still and video photography. It's easy to operate, feels well-made, and boasts a bright, sharp, fully articulated screen, as well as a plethora of connectors for connecting peripherals. While its video autofocus ability is excellent, it struggles to retain focus on things when used for still photography. The Fujifilm Exit S10 is an excellent travel camera. It produces excellent image quality right out of the box, with low noise even at somewhat high ISO levels. The Fujifilm simulation modes can help add flair to your images, however we haven't tested the camera with these modes enabled yet, and you can only use them on JPG files. Number 1 Canon EOS R50 If you're on a small budget, the Canon EOS R50 is the ideal camera for photography. It's an excellent pick for beginning photographers due to its simple and intuitive controls and a variety of auto-shooting settings that allow newbie photographers to experiment with various photography techniques. It also features a highly accurate and simple autofocus technology, and it's incredibly portable for vacation or street photography. 
Unlike the Canon EOS N50 Mark I, which it effectively replaces, the R50 is a good camera to grow with because it uses the same lens mount as full-frame Canons like the Canon EOS R6 Mark I, which means you can use both APS-C and full-frame lenses with it, making it easier to upgrade to a full-frame body later. The Olympus OM-D E-AM10 Mark IV is another excellent low-cost alternative, particularly if you like the more portable Micro Four Third system. Guys, that concludes our top 5 best cameras of 2024 list. All product links are in the description, which is updated with the lowest prices. Subscribe to our channel for more videos. Until then, we'll see you in the next video.